Okay, so, if you have seen people on the television, or you've met people at a meeting or a wedding, and they have a knot that looks like this. This is the asymmetrical knot. Uh, in other words, instead of being a nice little triangle at the uh, Adam's apple here, it is leaning like the Tower of Pisa to one side. And, uh, you know, I know this might seem uh, awfully snobbish, but there are times in one's life when, believe it or not, you have to put a tie on, and uh, most people don't know, how to, don't know how to tie a tie. Well, anyway, that's certainly my observation. There's one or two on, on uh, you know, in the films, media, so on and so forth, that seem to have the idea. So, I'm going to give you a demonstration on how to tie a Windsor knot. So now you're going to pick your shirt and your tie. You can go for the uh, short sleeved uh, summer formal there. And you know, little plug for Valley Village, that is a silk shirt. I bought that for seven bucks. Brand spanking new. And there we have the, uh, the business uh, selection there. Uh, so, once you've chosen your shirt and your tie, we will proceed to the tying of the tie. Now, I'm probably going to pick the white one uh, just for the sake of contrast, so it's easier for you to see. So here we are. I've uh, chosen my shirt, which is white, just for the contrast uh, uh, of the white against the, the darker tie. And I've picked my actually my favourite tie. And um, now, please don't get me wrong. I don't have anything against asymmetry and people who want to have you know, asymmetrical ties by design. Uh, however, um, this is right in the line of vision. It's something that people look at and, you know, most humans, believe it or not, actually do like some balance. And when things are out of balance, it just seems to, I don't know, maybe it's my profession as a hairdresser because I like things nice and neat and tidy, but I just don't think it looks quite as professional as it could be, especially if you're going into the boardroom and you want the boss to take you seriously. So I'm going to show you how to tie the Windsor knot. Um, I don't know where the name came from, maybe the Windsor family, uh, who knows, but uh, anyway, so here we go. We flip up the collar, which will remain up whilst we do this. So now, I don't know if you can see, I've got quite a long end here. So, I guess I'm about maybe halfway, a little under halfway, maybe a bit, a third of the way down. Anyway, you're gonna, you, you will need to do a couple of goes at this because, um, you know, you've got to get in the right spot and sometimes you've got one end longer than the other than it should be or this is too short, it ends up like up here and you look like uh, you know some kind of an idiot and we don't want that so maybe stand in the mirror when you're doing this so you can see facing yourself so you have the long end, you're going to cross that over the short end bring it round and back up through that hole. Then you're going to go over. I hold it with my teeth, like that. So now you get this. See, it's a little. It's already in that nice triangle shape. Cross over, up, and under, and through, and then. You see how that bit that you went across there, there's a, just pull that out a little bit, give yourself a bit of slack, and then you tuck that down in front, and there is your finished knot. Do that up, try not to choke yourself, it doesn't go too well with the guests. Fold your collar down, you can take this end. Put it through a hole between the buttons there to hide that away. And there you go, a non-asymmetrical tie. You're ready for the boardroom, the wedding, the date, the party, the dance, whatever. 
anyways, I hope that helped, and um, thank you very much for watching. Over and out. Hound Dog Steve.